<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 The Lizardmen Campaign. Now before we really get into today, I'm going to say a few things. First up, I know I've missed a few days in recording. If you go check my Oblivion thread, however, you'll find out why. Or if you don't even want to do that, well... I suppose I'll just flat out tell you. I live in Washington State. Washington State has been having quite a few issues. The primary one being wind and rain. Wait, that's not primary one, that's primary two. Damn it, brain. Which has resulted in several things. The most important of which to even watching this video is that I lost each and every one of my settings for this game. Yes. Each and every one. I wish, I wish, I wish I could say I was exaggerating. I I'm not exaggerating. In addition, I have acquired some advice from someone else for my Oblivion Go. But I'm also going to be applying here in terms of recording, so things will likely look different also because of that. So if you say it looks a bit off from what's normally here, don't worry, it's just because wind, rain, and everything else in between are gigantic assholes. It's fine. Don't worry. I mean, I'm grouchy, don't get me wrong! I'm really unhappy with what happened. There's not much I can do about the weather. No real reason to upgrade that when it's about to get smashed to the ground. I don't think Nauta Resolve will let me take that fight, and I don't feel like fighting it out right now. Also, that four chameleon skate card thing is ridiculous and amazing, and I love it. Wait! Oh shit, Axolotl doesn't have walls and it's right on the front lines. Oh boy, I'm glad I noticed that! This I'm gonna do some work on. Alright, is there anything else to do? No, not really. Okay, let's end the turn and watch a nice cutscene, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? And I shall also take these guys off of a forced march. Back to normal, mate. Oh wow, I forgot how much Mazzy nerfs the, or I guess buffs the Temple Guard upkeep. In the turn. All right, fine. I probably should have actually checked to see what the hell that skin chief was doing. Lothurn, what are you doing? You're apparently lagging the hell out of my game. Ah, Alistair the White Lion is moving! That very irritating feather foe torque and the van braces of defense, which I really wish I could get as lizard men, because they're very nice. I consider them better than the 20% ward save, simply because of their nature. Oh great, they divided and conquered the bloody... Chaos troops. Damn it. I was hoping for Chaos to actually take great big chunks out of the, the High Elves. But no, they had to die like bitches. No. Sorry, I'm a little grouchy. How much else does that High Elf have? They have 582. 
Still don't think I could take them, honestly. Like, look at this. They have dragons. We saw what dragons could do, so... However, when they come over here, they will get a surprise in the form of T-Rex and a whole bloody army. <laughs> that was a very strange noise, my chair, right? Alright, since it does odd things. The center column has kind of busted itself, as I believe I've mentioned in previous videos, so it does some very strange stuff. Oh, hey, Pestilence, are you gonna move out so I can kick your asses? And you don't hide behind walls like a bunch of wimps. Hello, Morlock. What are you doing? You're redundant in an army with Lord Skrulk, you know. Oh, Thryn. Um. Are you going to race your doom right on the mortuary of Tzil... Tea thingy, the mortuary of Tzulaqua? Tzulaqua. Ironically, having that high elf here means that my untainted is going to rise faster, I believe. So it's back to they're my enemy. Because even if we're enemies, we can still agree on one thing. F fuck chaos! Not in the fun and slightly sticky way. And here is that army of dinosaurs, Dracoodle, 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 Canoodle, Dracoodle, Dracoodle. I wonder why the Piranha Blade is plus seven. I mean, it's obviously a lucky number. Is there actually a significance to the Piranha Blade having plus seven to anyone who's actually played the tabletop? So I confess, most of my knowledge of Warhammer Fantasy comes from this, a few books, a recent Humble Bundle, and a lot of talking with other people. And 1D4, Sean. That's a pretty strong wiki, honestly. Can get real salty about some things, like Alanius Pius, although I'm pretty salty about that, too. <laughs> but eh. That's not really a Warhammer fantasy thing, I guess. Come on, dwarves, do things! There's Zothel. Well, look here, hell Renounce vampire names like that, try and choke yourself in the back of your own throat. Bad advice, you say? Duh. I say. Now, can we get a cutscene, please? Thank you! The Great Warding is fed by the geomantic web which in turn is sustained by the Slan, residing in their star chambers. And so the stars... Oh, wow! ...closer to the... This always impresses me. The Lizardmen look like they're basically these classical feral savages, but they're clearly the most advanced race. You must hasten along the road of enlightenment, or be overtaken by the warm bloods performing their own Petty rituals. Huh. Engineer scarred one. Nice. Great plan, Archivist isn't too useful though. Where does this have for places? Temple of Skulls, Tor Serpindar, and Talakwa. Let's deal with that star chamber and start actually putting up some goddamn defenses here. Walls, walls everywhere and... Wait, walls aren't for drinking, what am I talking about? <laughs> Bus buff you up. Never. Let's see what Sadrina is gonna try and do, shall we? Tamantrax is taking attrition. What? The right. 
I haven't quite fully purged this location of all heresy yet. Yes, I know purging heresy is technically a 40k thing. Ah, Casabar got a thing done. Let's get them the Blood Shrines and the Corral Arena. What else can I get you guys working over? The Capes of a two. What can I do with that? Oh, the Forces of Dawn needs some art. It's probably needs some art for a while, hasn't it? Coast of Arabe needs some work. Actually, no, it doesn't. Buildings constructed, say... All right, I did cross Casabar. Mirror Pool of Tapak needs a poke. Oh no, they only just finished the favelas and the like. Wow, that's kind of scary and kind of depressing at the same time. I'm going to go with depressing, though. Just sort of on general principle, I guess. For lack of a better term. Hmm. Alright, five turns until the vaults are finished. But, I need to actually start really pushing these rituals, frankly. So, see now. Get up. Assault scroll sw <laughs> Now it's gonna begin the ritual of deliberation. Same effects as all of the bloody damned things. <laughs> The ritual is underway, my lord. Even working together, it will take your greatest adept some time to complete. Such is the ritual's power that the great vortex itself distorts under its pull. Can you tell me anything now? Be wary, though, for while the vortex is weakened, the forces Six of Six stacks! Chaos half Skaven, half Chaos! World. Ready your defenses, for they will doubtless be drawn to the ritual's power. Oh, I have a damaged building in the... Eh, fix it up. How is this going to work out? And talk of the Plain of Tuskers both have walls and a garrison. Thought I'd be more confident fighting it in the Plain of Tuskers than Antok, because uh, Antok is my Carnosaur stack, and that's not too good on the defense. I would probably sally out, especially if it's against... A stack like this, because wow, Stormworm with Sword and Shield, really? Against Those death globe bombardiers are gonna hurt, though. Death globes are really, really scary. Plan scheme is discordant. Hmm. You don't really have. Oh no, you do have something special. You have the hell pit abomination. Too horrible to die. They're nasty buggers. No. And that one helps out a Doom Wheel? Death Wheel? Doom Wheel. Doom Wheel. Okay. Foolish you have a help it and Death Globes, no. actually. Lovely! No scum. Oh, and your front line is mostly chosen with great weapons. And there's some giants too. <laughs> Dekasaur, though, I'm pretty confident in, because he has five cards of cavalry and two cards of chariots and an 18-card army. So, on, in a siege, he's not going to be too dangerous. Let's start trying to wear them down a little with my heroes. Can you actually get to here and assault the units, Kikowaka? Yes, you can! Chop them right up! Good job, Kiko! Enforce of order, please! Let's see what happens to these units. I chopped up a unit. Oh, you chopped up the Gutter Runner Slingers with poison! That's very, very valuable indeed. Thank you! You've wanted the Hell Pit Abomination and the Plague Claw Catapult a little bit. 
And you killed a ton of clan rats with shields. And one clan rat spear. I guess that guy just sort of was wandering about at night. He was a little drunk, a little too late, having whatever the hell Skaven have for booze. And then all of a sudden, he's suddenly dead because the T-Rex snapped him up in the middle of the night. Dumb ways to die. So very many dumb ways to die. Whoa. Dumb ways to die. So very many dumb ways to die. Whoa. 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 Mantrax can sit in the Black Tower. This is definitely gonna be interesting, especially if I if they decide to group up and hit me. I'll probably fight the battles, honestly. Alright. Not much more we can do though, so let's end the turn. Oh, that these buggers don't tr don't manage to get like three on one odds on one of my cities because that would take a long time to fight off. I have confidence that I could do it with Krokgar. Not so much with the Carnosaur stack, but. Oh! They just declared war on me! Get out! Oh great, is my microphone spiking again? I'm gonna have to check my recording settings again after this. Lovely. Lothar and do a thing. And no, lagging does not count as a thing. Thank you. Faction encountered high elf intervention. Oh, fuck. Still want to know what Moranian's Waystone does. Seriously, that thing looks like it'd be either broken ass or completely worthless, depending on what it gives, you know, Vanguard to. Vanguarded, for example, High Elf Archers? <laughs> I'd call bullshit on that. I'd call bullshit. 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 So Dream appears to be attempting to hide. I'm not sure why. They certainly don't have an underway stance. So they can't just go, oh, oh, over that mountain. I'm not seeing where the intervention is, but it's not going to show me that for a long time, frankly. All right, Nagarond is doing a thing. What is it doing? Balls if I know. Clan Pestilence, are you going to do anything interesting or am I just going to skip over your turn, basically? You're actually going to move Morlock. What is, what is Morlock going to do? Is he going to join up? No, he's just going to run around and look kind of stupid. I suppose that's normal for Skaven, just running around and looking kind of stupid. They're not known for their genius, after all. If they use that the Mortuary of Tezula thingy... Okay, now we know where it is, and that's a lot of cavalry, which is not very much use. Thank you, Temple of... for hitting the Temple of Skulls, my capital! I just lost all of my trade income. Fuck you! So just fuck you. <sighs> the main issue is how I'm going to deal with these six stacks. They're only going to be able to hit me three at a time because of the differing factions. I'm definitely con confident being able to take on the Skaven at the walls. The problem is going to be the Chaos stacks. Not only do they have things like Giants, which are very hard to deal with without special walls, like, you know, at Capitals, which I don't have, in the way. But they are also 
a bloody nuisance. Come on, you bastards. Move over and help fight Chaos! Chaos, you know, the great enemy, old knight, the corpse at the end of the world. What do you buggers want me to call it? Come and hit it with an axe. The best option would be if they split up and tried to have some of them push past me, but tried to occupy me with sieges so I could defeat them in detail. I don't expect this to happen. It would be far too easy. <sighs> So, but they don't, what are you even, what, why you do, why are you do, the chaos forces are sieging me, but they're going to get absolutely butchered. Talk is sieged? Let's look at this attacking army of the Temple of Skulls. Tyrion must want to absolutely and utterly gut whoever planned this expedition. Yes, we will send light skirmish cavalry to go and attack this heavily fortified settlement on the defense. Nothing can possibly go wrong! What is that bastard thinking? Oh, yeah. What are your odds on a Sally? Not actually all that good. Oh dear. How are you, Crocky boy? What are your odds on it? <laughs> well, that isn't even a fight. Wow. Like, look at that. That's not even a fight. That's that's a slaughter, according to this, and I agree. Let's get these temple guards some XP, shall we? Maybe we'll get some gold ones. Chop it any chop 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 it any chop chop. I will kill and eat you. Chop it any chop 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 it any chop chop. Over two thousand gold pieces just for bud butchering you right up into bits. Chop it any chop 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 it any chop chop. Do 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 do. You didn't even have neutralize chaos. Wow, that's pathetic. That's just sad. Swiftness of it still. Now, do I want to kill Meta Storm the Corrupted more, or do I want to kill Vermich the Lethal more? I think I'll have a better chance against Meta Storm the Corrupted. He has less of the really, really scary troops that I'm actually worried about. Alright, talk. What else? What cannot you do, good sir? Besides Curse the Midnight Wind, which I would never really use. What the hell? Specialist. May as well, eh? The troops in Sudenberg can normal. So I've delivered. So I have eliminated one stack out of six. Mercy Void Spawn. Has someone been playing too much Overwatch? <sighs> 
assault units. When assault units plays, chop them up. Two successful assault units right in a row. Oh, look at Void Spawn's army go. I effectively have caused about 40% casualties, I'd say, to his force. We're not for the fact that these two Skaven armies are literally right there and have siege attackers. I'd probably send out Croc Guard to demolish that. This is. Oh my god, I'm getting garrison reinforcements. Oh! Goodbye, Made of Storm the Corrupted. That's what you give me for kill you. 7.2k! And you effectively provided no casualties to me via the method of killing absolutely everyone you've ever known and loved. And then eating them. Nah, there'll be better Skaven armies to fight later on. Like the final waves of this game. Goodbye. Kill me. None of the Skaven's forces actually mattered in the end. Isn't that sad, Skaven? That's not actually very good armor. Causes fear and causes terror isn't bad, but... Plus 4 armor and 15% missile resist is eh, and the minus 8 leadership really sucks unless you're on like, something like dwarves. Meanwhile, Ono Kankard, whose only worrisome unit is a card of Storm Vermin, moves deeper into my territory. Preparing for the ritual makes it an enormous amount less dangerous, as you can clearly see. That fight could have gone, you know, completely and utterly tits up, as it were. And it turned into basically, here comes Smashy Lizard, here comes Smashy Lizard, right down Smashy Lizard Lane. Here comes Smashy Lizard, here comes Smashy Lizard over the hills and plains. They got wrecked. I don't think anyone is even going to try and deny that. If you do. You're going to have to give me a very good explanation for how that was not an absolute butchering of everything they cared for. Oh good, another place where I can put a Shrine of the Old Ones and a Shrine of Sotek. But you know... Bless. Apologies, one of my relatives has some issues, it seems. Okay, uh, Assault Garrison, because we seem to be doing that quite a bit. Well, you try. I'd pat them on the head, but that seems a bit silly. Mostly because I can't do it. Honestly, though, I want them to attack at the Temple of Skulls just so I can make just so I can make the, a joke out of all of these troops. Like, high elf archers, they're okay. Actually, they're some of the best archers in the game, frankly. But that's for archering, not for actual killing things. Like in a brawl, and with eight total cards of cavalry. I mean, I could see a legitimate strategy building up here. I really could see a legitimate strategy going up here. Ram some holes in the walls with your eagle claws, and then jam your cavalry through as fast as you can. Like, just bust a hole in the wall and focus down like a laser. You know what, I'm going to move Krokgar over here, not in the Plane of Tuskers, because he'll replenish everything anyway. And that means next turn I'll be able to hit a Zubhor and crush him. Sure, I could give him a fair fight, or I could chase after these Skaven down here, like this Grace here on his Screaming Bell. By the way, Screaming Bells give you a few gimmicks. Let me see if I can grab... 
mouse over them on here because sometimes they're a little inconsistent in being able to mouse mouse over. Unholy Clamor is interesting because basically what it does is all the Skaven on the map have plus 16 leadership and get their vigor back, which is very scary for Skaven because one of their issues is leadership. Scorch is pretty annoying. The worst thing, though, in my opinion, is the Wall of Unholy Sound. Plus 4 leadership and plus 5 melee attack for all Skaven in range. It's kind of a dick. Also, I wish there was something that you could do with Ritual Currency, because right now I have an extra 855 that I literally do not need. Like if I could say, oh, go, I will convert this into power, or spend Ritual Currency for special buffs, or fuck it, sell it to some guy I know. Is that good You know, that sort of thing. I'd be cool with that. I really would. But you can't do that. Anyway, one, two, three. Fifty percent ritual assault force casualties have been taken. Ain't it great? Also, the sequence of the Great Beast Rampage is going to be amazing for my Carnosaurs. <laughs> Though I could go for the sequence of geological prospecting, but I want to buff my troops up at this point, because I'm getting close to the final ritual. And from that... The final battle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's end the turn. So was this thing? No, I didn't want to do anything. Just trying to refresh my mind. Oh, bronze claw, right. Forgot about you again. I seem to do that a lot. Apologies. <sighs> Population surpluses, surplus I, surpluses. I'm pretty sure is the right word. That's freezing up because it's figuring out what the biggest faction on the map is doing. Tyrion is definitely a pretty dangerous opponent, to be frank. doing anything especially interesting. This noble at least is moving around. A couple other things. Sadrina! What are you even doing, Sadrina? You're running away. I mean, it's sensible when you're confronted by a giant T-Rex to run away. You know, it's just one of those common sense things. If a T-Rex is chasing you, run. Or, you know, kill it. That's also possible. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, looks like they're mostly just moving their heroes around. I don't really think they have any chance of actually stopping me at this point. Uh. So Benning tried to wound Bronze Claw and failed horribly. No surprise. 
I'm honestly worried where the Norskin force is coming from. Usually there's a Norskin escort force. Did I just miss it? It's possible I missed it. I'm kind of dumb at times. In fact, I can be very dumb at times. Ramata, where are you even going? Ah, you're coming back to the Vampire Coast. Hopefully to demolish them once and for all so I don't have to worry about them when I confederate with you. Gar, you have the Obsidian Blade and the Dragon Main Gem, and a kind of air force for fighting undead. I mean, the Bastilodons will reap a bloody toll on any undead infantry, and the undead rely on their infantry and monsters. But, ugh. Yes, you lost Zotal. It's right there, mate. Not non-aggression until I take that territory back. Sorry, mate, but there's my space and there's your space, and right now you're in my space, and the only reason I'm tolerating is because I'm busy f screwing up Chaos in the Vortex. What is Mercy Void Spawn going to do? Is if they're going to attack Croc, you know, they're literally right between Crocgar and that town. They're asking for it. Like I can't think of a better example of literally asking to be slaughtered than that. Ulrich van de Mortem. Well, they're not at war with me, so I don't care. Even if they are going to spread some corruption in my lands. Pestlin started their fourth ritual, though. Carnivorous Horticulturist. That name was Poison Attacks. Do I, I think I have one of those in Croc Gar, but I want to make sure, because Poison Attacks are that useful. Yeah, he's got Poison, and... At least enough, I don't think the game was meant to include... Triple Digit Attack Weapon Strength. Anti-large, anti-infantry, and armor-piercing tags, because as you can see, weapon strength is being kind of fucky there. <laughs> Goodbye! You're all dead. I'm going to eat your corpses to replenish my troops, and then I'm going to move to support of my allies. <laughs> Assault units, please! <laughs> That's not a good one. That is slightly better, but still not good. Oh, Crocgar is now at rank 38. Nice. What can I get for you with my with your last three points? Scarred veteran. Let's go for that. That's a good one. You know, it's more health. You can't really argue with more health, you know? Meanwhile, I need to figure out what her talk does. At this rate, I'm going to have two maxed troops to just throw up my enemies. That's kind of scary and kind of impressive at the same time, in my opinion. You could... Do I have a better sword for you? No, I don't. I give you a hide of the cold ones, but that wouldn't really work for you. What do I even rank 
specialist, I guess. The Great Desert has three. Ah, pools of despair needs work. Let's start fording up again. Ash River has four! That usually means, no, it needs 12 more turns so it can from a temple city to a temple nexus. Forest walls, very scary. Very scary. Ah! Defenses, please! So next time you don't get quite so screwed up. Close. Close and engage. Eldar! Close and engage! Wow. Lots of dead. Nice! Rinkius is a superior attacker, and I killed quite a few of enemy troops. Quite a few enemy troops. Not quite a few of enemy troops. Do you even grammar, you silly let's player? Apologies. Gravity. Do you have Deadly Onslaught? Work on Woundmaker, then. Let's get you... Evasion. That looks good. Evasion looks tasty. You need some work too. Mazzy has recruited several cards of Temple Guard who are actually cheaper than Cyrus Warriors for him. Wow! Wow! They're actually cheaper than Cyrus Warriors for him. I wow! I'm not sure how to deal with that, except for being greatly, greatly amused. Wow. Well done, universe. Lord his hand, assault the garrison. For training! Heh, <laughs> they speak of fairness in their high-handed manner, but ultimately means nothing. If you're not a sewer, you're scum. Around elves, watch yourselves. God, I love that line. You know, Krokgar costs 3224, 6502 for Umatadan. Umatadan, you scary and you expensive. Actually, if you Sally, will you get support from Crocky Boy? Oh, you will. Goodbye, Azubhor. Nothing important, nothing of value is lost. Odd. That's just the gold sigil, sigil sword with an extra plus one for the melee attack and melee defense. New though, I haven't seen that one before. I give the game that much, that is new to me. Perhaps for this guy I should invest in geomantic sustenance so I can get his upkeep up down. And then I can get him renowned and feared, but... Mm, no. Work on his hunt leader. Plus two melee attack, plus 9% weapon strength for the Carnosaurs. And now you see why I have generally been very unworried about the rituals. Just as a rule of thumb. For you.
All right. <laughs> now I tack that on, I can actually recruit this bugger flat out gold ranking temple guard in this province now. But yeah, next turn I'm going to be declaring war on the Druchi. Because they're going to declare war on me, but when I finish the ritual deliberation. Alright, sequence of geomantic healing will finish next turn. Just in time for me to take a lot of casualties from the Dark Elves. You know what's game and what forces remain? I think I wiped out all the armies but one. Yeah, all the Chaos forces are gone, two of the Skaven forces are gone, all that remains is Ono Kanker. Who does have some very dangerous troops in the form of poison gutter runners, but eh, the storm vermin are kind of annoying too, I'll give them that. Plague Clock Catapults, though, they have the really irritating trait of contaminated. Minus 10 leadership. Bah. Let's just end the turn, shall we, ladies and gents? There's nothing much left to do. We're really zooming through them now, though, because a lot of my empire just needs to consolidate, and it's mostly consolidated. Just waiting through this, chugging around, just dealing with the damn problems. Lothar has completed their fourth ritual. I think I'm going to beat them to number five, though. Well, they built enough, up enough wave fragments to just start off five, which in case I have a problem, I need to go grab Lothar itself with my main force as soon as physically possible. That's bad. No stabbing my lizards. My lizards stab you. You do not stab my lizards. The girl of Hoeth is still ridiculous, and the Moonstaff of the Lathe is absolutely insane because plus 18% wins magic power reserve, plus another 18 from his nice hat. Seriously, Teclis is kind of broken, honestly. I am tempted to do another personal Tyrion go just because of the buffs he's gotten, honestly. The new things seem like they might actually be pretty cool for their, uh... Uh... Gah! Quest battles! How did I forget what quest battles were called? How am I that stupid? Oh dear! I think Malekith heard me when he said I was going to declare war on the Dark Elves. <laughs> oh dear, this is a problem. With a capital P. Capital P for problem. XT, he who bears the blade of realities, which I seriously want, because that is a very nice weapon. Chamber of Vision's going to be taken, and he sacks it again! Stop that! It's bad! Don't sack! Take! Don't sack! Take! T-A-K! 
T-A-K-E. Take. Not sack. Take. Take. Da 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 there is Zotol. I do intend to take Zotol back. If only because I'm playing as Krokgar and it feels thematically appropriate. The hair is a more cane. Holy shit, they actually own territory now. Eh. Your enemies are my enemies. I'll take it. You think you're my masters, my fat, hairy ass. I could whip all your asses with one stack. The reason you still exist is because my stacks are busy in other places suppressing a ritual assault. Seriously, if my stacks weren't busy, I would be, you know, demolishing. He's zottle infested by the fucking rats! Is that what that force is telling me? Oh, oh. I... Yeah, that's a problem. They're nearly at Ritual 5, Lothurn is. Oh dear. And that's the Ritual of Anarian the Defender as well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I need to get out there onto the seas now. I want my troops to go kill absolutely everything there. I want to slaughter Lothar and burn it to the ground and leave nothing remaining for their next ritual. I am scared as hell right now, ladies and gentlemen. I could actually lose the ritual race. I could actually lose. So keeping that in mind. And with the strange lag spike. Total extermination. Occupy it so I can have an entire damn territory. And so I can end this on an actually slightly uplifting note. 
because this is a problem. Oh dear. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below or on the threads on space battles and sufficient velocity that will be linked in the description. Please tell me what you think of the change recording settings. And for now, goodbye!